Well, we were watching the uh, one of the shows on television, and uh, my son was really into it, and he asked me, uh, Dad, do you think we can go to one of those? I paid $700 for one box, and I sold it for 100000 This was our first auction, and I think it was the first unit that they put up for sale. We bought. Mike Capri admits when it comes to buying up storage lockers, he's caught the bug. Definitely, like somebody likes to go gambling, I like to go to auction. A pre is part of a skyrocketing number of bidders showing up at self storage auctions all around the country. The bidders who have been doing this for years blame the increased popularity and competition on shows like A&E Storage Wars. They make it look pretty easy, but reality TV may not be very real. I think they're interesting, they're a lot of fun, and they're not necessarily accurate as far as we're concerned. So how do these auctions really work? Our policy here is after two months of, of uh, delinquency, you should say, uh, that uh, we send them out a certified letter and say that your belongings are going to go up uh, for auction on a certain date at a certain time. And if the past due renter doesn't pay up, the contents of the storage unit are sold to the highest bidder. Just like on TV, bidders don't get to look into the boxes. They get quick glimpses and then have to gamble. We raise the door and let them go in with flashlights or not, but usually they can see, and go in and just see what they can see without really tearing the place up and making a mess. You know, if, there, if the stuff is stored neatly and that's kind of something that you think that well, people take care of their stuff and you're going to put it in there so they might have some valuable stuff uh, worth getting. And then the bids fly. Normally not as high as on television. Mike never paid more than $120 for a unit. The storage business gets the cash to cover the back rent. Oh, we're not getting rich at all. In fact, we lose. Uh, most often we'll have uh, somebody who owes us $1,000 we may get $150 back. And the highest bidder gets everything inside. That's, that's, that's the most exciting part. It's almost like Christmas. You're opening up boxes, you see something covered up, and you didn't, uh, you didn't know it was there, you didn't see it, and you, you pull a cover off, and then you got a 50-inch screen TV. And you didn't even know it was in there. In another unit, something a little more unusual. I've seen the name and the uh, funeral home name on it, and I turned to my wife and I said, look, and it was uh, some ashes that uh, somebody had stored in their storage unit. Where real life really differs from the show is in the work. That's something you don't see on television, it was the dirty part. When you do it on your own, it, it is a lot of work. It's cleaning the unit out, if there's a deadline, one day, two days, you have to have the vehicles, the trailer, and uh, just pro going through this stuff and seeing what could be recycled or what you need to take to Goodwill, what you don't want, that that takes about a day, even on a small, even on even on a small unit. And sometimes it costs you more than just time to clear a unit out. You might actually have to pay to get rid of broken appliances, make a trip to the dump. That may end up costing you money. But it's the possibility of hitting it big that keeps bringing people back. I haven't really got anything wow like on television, like the big. Uh, gold and, and stuff like that. No, nothing like that yet, but uh, maybe, maybe one day I can find that uh, big wow factor.